Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Today we're going to talk about what is the best exterior paint to put on stucco, ephus, brick, masonry surfaces. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. There's three different types of products that we can put on a masonry, stucco, ephus, surface, concrete surface. And that, the three products are Elastomeric product, a, a product that's specifically made for masonry that does not have Elastomeric in it, and also a universal paint. And what's a universal paint? A universal paint is something like duration, something that it could be put on a wide variety of surfaces, vinyl, aluminum, wood, so forth. It's universal, can be used on many different surfaces. The Elastomeric is a very flexible paint, the most flexible paint. It can stretch 300 to 600 times more than what, it, uh, than what it is just dry and hard. It has a lot of flexibility to it. Um, but it, it has to be put on when temperatures are above 50 degree so you can have a short season depending on where you live. The coverage of the paint is typically between 80 and 100 square feet a gallon so it's a much much it's about two or three times less than what a universal paint would be. However it's very thick. It's very thick paint. It goes on about 20 mils thick. Most exterior paints go on about five six mils thick so it's, it's literally what four or five times thicker it dries at eight and a half mils. Most paints dry around two and a half mils, when the, maybe three mils when it's dry. So it's three, three times thicker uh, on average. Uh, elastomeric paints come in a flat or a low sheen. That hasn't changed. Only one I found came in a low sheen. Um, but elastomeric paints being so thick, it bridges cracks. So if you have hairline cracks up to about a 32nd of an inch, the elastomeric will fill that in. It is a waterproofing system and it, it does need two coats. Elastomeric needs two coats in order to become waterproofing. Does it cover really well in one coat and you think everything is great? Yes, but to really get that waterproofing system you need two coats. Is it self-priming? No. Elastomeric is not self-priming. Here's the issue folks that um, uh, has improved with elastomeric because it was a waterproof membrane on the wall if for some reason moisture got behind the wall like maybe a roof leak and was coming out or there was a lot of humidity inside the house that needed to transfer through the elastomeric wouldn't allow it to ha happen and would either get huge water bubbles uh, the sales rep told me that he saw a water bubble where water was trapped behind the paint and that held 55 gallons of water. It can also create mold and mildew because paint gets, moisture gets trapped behind that film. So they needed to make Elastomeric a breathable finish. And ultra spec uh, acrylic masonry paint now has that breathable finish through it. And so does a Permacrete by Pittsburgh. Let's go over a couple of um, paints that are not elastomeric, but they are specifically for stucco. And you're going to see that the characteristics between these paints that are specifically for stucco are very similar to the elastomeric. The coverage is about the same. One of the key things that you can see is very different though, is the temperature which it can be applied. The, the permacrete can be applied at 20 degrees. I don't know, I wouldn't want to paint outside of 20 degrees. And the locks on XP at 35 degrees. The mill thickness is a little bit less than the elastomeric, but so much more than what the universal paints are. 16, point, 16 wet, 8.5 dry. The reco time reflects that of the elastomeric, 24 hours. The sheens available are flat only, re reflecting what most of the elastomerics are. Again, similarity. Uh, with the last of Americs, they both, the stucco masonry paints, do bridge hairline cracks. Uh, the Loxone XP is a waterproof, but the Permacrete is not. 
They're both self-priming, and remember, none of the elastomerics are self-priming. They're all paint systems, which require sometimes even multiple primers. The Permacrete is a one-coat product, obviously saving both product and labor. And the Lox One XP is a two-coat product. Even though one coat looks great sometimes, to get that waterproofing aspect of it, it needs two coats. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the universal paints that can go on multiple different types of surfaces, including stucco. We have the Regal High Build, Duration, and Permanizer. These are all very popular products from each manufacturer. The temperature on these that can be applied, you can see has a little bit of variance, 40, 50, and 35. The coverage is about the same, straight across the board. The wet mill, dry mill is almost identical with the Permanizer having a slight edge. The recode time is four hours, except for the Permanizer's 24 hours. They all come in multiple sheens, the flat, the low luster, satin, and the duration also has a gloss. Here's where you start to see some differences in the paint that I think are significant. The Regal High Build actually bridges cracks. And when you're up there on a ladder and you're painting, you can't see those hairline cracks from the ground and you're very unlikely to stop what you're doing, patch that area, come back and prime it and paint it down the road. You're just not. You're just going to paint it and hopefully that crack will get filled in with the paint. If you're using the Regal High Build, it will. Big deal. Um, uh, are any of them waterproofing paints? No. Are any of them self-priming over bare stucco? Only the Regal High Build. The other two aren't. The other two have, are self-priming under certain circumstances, but not under stucco. The amount of coats that's needed is they're all one to two. When you put one coat on, when you just want to freshen it up, when you put two coats on, when you want longevity. You know, a lot of these paints cover very well in one coat, but they all look better with two. So what paint would I put on stucco? Well, if I wanted to go with the elastomeric paint, because I wanted probably something that has the most waterproofing ability to it, I'd have to look at a couple factors. If I wanted the thickest paint, well, then you gotta go with the Conflex. If you want a low sheen on there, well, you're gonna have to go with the Ultra Spec Masonary Elastomeric. And if you needed to put multiple coats on, two coats on in the same day, I'd have to go with the Permacrete Pit flex elastomeric. So it's different situations are going to require you to use a different paint. If I was going with the masonry paint, there's very little difference between the Loxon and the Permacrete. The Permacrete, maybe one coat if I was going with it. The Loxon, if I was going with two coats, I might go with that. If I was going with a universal paint, I would grab a gallon of the Benjamin Moore High Build. It fills in the cracks. It's a breathable paint. The square footage is just as good as it is just as good at all around the corner as any other exterior paint, but it has a few good advantages and I like that. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.